Hello. I wanted to show you how I make metal hoops to support crop netting. I have a significant problem with wood pigeons in this area and they devour with relish any small brassicas that are put in the ground, the cauliflowers, cabbages, etc. So I have to protect young crops from wood pigeons. And the way that I do that is to put pigeon netting or netting over the top for a few weeks until the crops establish themselves. And the wire that I use is six millimeter steel wire, which I get from a local steel stockholder. It's relatively inexpensive. It's less than two pounds for a two meter strip like this. And all that you need is a form to bend it around, a shape. And this happens to be an old sheep feeding trough. It's 52 centimeters in diameter. Turns out it's a very convenient size to be truthful. And what we do is make sure that we put a gloves on because if there's any metal swarf on here that gets in your hands, it's far, far worse than getting a wooden splinter. I speak from experience. So put your hands out equally across the width or the length of this piece of steel and bend it slightly over the barrel, the form, and move your hands towards the outside ends and turn it around and cross your hands over. And when you release, you end up with a nice shape. I'll do one more to show you. Now, of course, this isn't just restricted to pigeon netting, shall we say. You can put the finer grade insect netting across it, polythene indeed, if you wanted to, to uh, do so. And of course, you can put fleece across. So anything that you wanted to keep off your crops and support your crops. This wire will last many, many years. Particularly if you take it out of the ground and put it under a dry storage, it won't rust very fast. So again, position yourself in the center, bend it over the barrel as I've done there, and turn it around. Cross your hands, bang, and there we have a nice hoop. Now, not everybody's going to have a sheep feeding trough like this. You could use um, some, something like eight, 18 millimeter ply, cut in a similar radius and hook that over and bend it. That will work just as well. This will go into the ground. I do recommend that you pin your netting down and don't put bricks down. Use pieces of wire. Here's a scrap piece of wire. Just pin the netting down all the way along its length to stop it blowing off because it will do. I guarantee that. Don't use slabs or bits of stone to hold netting down or, uh, because all it does is attract slugs and that's the last thing you want. So there we have it. Very, very quickly, how to make a metal hoop out of six millimeter wire to support your netting. I hope you found that useful.